ask you to close your eyes and take a deep breath, and we'll do a little meditation in a few minutes. Take another deep breath and relax. Now imagine that at the center of your heart there is a sphere of light, just a point of light, bright, white, complete, total, holistic light, neither physical nor non-physical, just light in its essence, in the center of your heart. And make this more and more vivid, more and more visual to yourself. Visualize this light. Tap into it, feel into it. Now start dropping your body around it. It's like the shell that encloses it. And for a moment, just imagine that it breaks apart into jigsaw pieces of puzzle and it just starts falling apart and falling away into endlessness, into infinity. The shell that is your body just falls away and what you're left with is this point or sphere of light, this original point of pure light. So now just imagine yourself as this light without a body for just a moment. And make that sphere bigger, or you could say enter that sphere so that it seems to become everything that exists. There's nothing but vastness around this point, nothing but infinity, nothing but endlessness around this point of light, but you enter this point of light. For this moment, you become, your body is this point of light. And make it brighter, make it more vivid, make it more overwhelming, make it more ecstatic even. Light is ecstasy, light is love. Feel liberated already as you increase the sense of light. And now imagine that this light starts traveling at the speed of light. Imagine galaxies being created out of this light, bumping into itself, moving alongside space, faster and faster. Now imagine going past the speed of light, going a billion times the speed of light. Increase this sense of movement, this sense of speed, of light, till perhaps you start glimpsing that if this light is infinite in its speed, infinite in its acceleration, infinite in its ability to move about vastness, it can single-handedly create everything to appear because it has no limitations and no boundaries. This light can move at infinite speeds. And so it can actually be everywhere at once simultaneously looking at itself from billions of points of view while all being the same point of light. So seemingly it creates space, but that's only because the one being has no limitations and can symbolically move anywhere at any time and therefore appear simultaneously as all of creation. But it's still one being. It's still the one love expressing infinity. Entanglement therefore is nothing but the realization that everything has but one meeting point, that everything is but one being. And that you are not separate from that being. In fact, you are that being. You are the single being that occupies vastness. You are the only being that occupies infinity. You are the only being out of which all of creation is created. That is true entanglement. That is the experiential realization of it. And so why not open your heart? Why not start meeting people as another projection of this one light that you are? And see what happens. It will drop your boundaries. It will make you fearless in a very natural, harmonious way. It will make you naturally loving and compassionate and yet clear and wise and discerning at the same time. It gives you access to a wisdom you could not previously access. All because you're gaining a deeper blissful state of understanding yourself a more transcendent state. There is no space, there is no time. There's no limitation. You are everywhere, all at once. Therefore, it's no wonder that one particle can communicate to another particle because it's the same particle already before they've ever met inside of the illusion of space-time. It already was one particle. In fact, every single particle is one particle moving at infinite speeds, appearing next to itself, creating the illusion of space-time. It's one being, one light that created all that is. You're never separate from what you see. You're never separate from what you don't see. Move into this knowingness. Let this raise your frequency, your understanding, your experience of yourself. Allow this to tap you into abundance, into true bliss, into true joy, into true love, to true empowerment, creativity. Wake back up to your purpose. 
Wake back up to why you're here. Who are you? Why are you here? Don't waste your life. Have fun. Enjoy. Share. Be of service. Share love. Share light. Engage. Create what you feel like creating. You are a co-creator of this light. Give into that. Know that you have access to every other point in existence. You're never in lack. Lack is the illusion that mankind came up with and revolved its entire planetary activity around. It's the only thing existence cannot compute with, the idea of lack. Everything can exist except for lack. From an experiential existence point of view, everything can exist. Everything can exist and does exist already, timelessly so, in the eternal now, in the meeting point of all that is. There's only one thing that cannot exist. That's a lack. Lack cannot exist. And yet it's the single idea we have come up with and worshipped as the Holy Grail. So we're careful, we're frightened, we're so afraid. We're so afraid of bumping into ourselves. So afraid of meeting more of ourselves. Meeting more abundance in different ways, in different forms, from different points of view. It's so scary. It's so scary to drop the boundaries of the body and the mind and see everything as yourself. But it's not. When you do it, it's not. It's only frightening right before you do it. And then when you do it, it's the most sensible thing you've ever done. And you can never go back. So eradicate lack from your belief systems. Investigate it, transform it. See that in this entangled universe where you are the one light expressing itself simultaneously as all times and spaces and locations and experiences and beings and creatures. How could there be lack of anything? You are the creator of all that is and you are the contact point of all that is. So wake up to that. Wake up to that. Remember that. Thrive in that. There is no lack. There's never been a lack. Not a lack of existence. Not a lack of love. Not a lack of acceptance. Not a lack of creativity. Not a lack of resources. There is no lack. Get this singular idea out of your mind. Transcend humanity in that simple way. And you will start dancing to the rhythm of your true spirit. Dancing to the rhythm of your true abundance. That true knowledge of unity. Of entanglement. Thank you very much. Take a deep breath and know this to be true even if you don't believe it.